Hey, 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 good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Uh, happy hump day, Wednesday. Um, this is an amazing day to do a re reset, the middle of the week. And so um, the Lord has really been challenging me and encouraging me to stop and listen um, to Him in this season and to be mindful of every moment being an opportunity to draw near to him. And I know that sounds radical. Um, I know it sounds like that's um, just crazy to think of, but it really is uh, what our Father wants for us. Um, pick up our cross and follow him. Um, Fred and I are doing a daily reading together and um, we were in Matthew yesterday and it was just talking about, or this actually this morning, the um, rich young ruler and, uh, or the young rich man and the fact that the Lord said, sell all your possessions and come and follow me. And he went away sad because he couldn't do that. Um, he wasn't willing to sacrifice and be obedient first and then sacrifice, um, which is a whole nother, <laughs> whole nother thing. But, um, one thing that I wanted to share, just being kind of transparent, um, I, um, have struggled in this season in finding my, um, place, knowing what God wants for me to do, um, exactly what his call upon me is. I love people. I love sharing Optavia, um, our health program. I love, um, mentoring and sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. I love being a friend and I love gathering with people and serving. Um, but the Lord has honestly set me down in this season and I've been in a place of stillness and I've been in a place of where I'm not doing all the things that I would normally do. And it's been a struggle for me um, because a lot of times we tie up our identity, who we are in those things in, instead of really placing our identity in Christ Jesus and asking him to develop our characteristics, our traits, our character traits, to develop our um, fruits of the Spirit, the gifts of the Spirit. And um, they're there and we're operating in them, but are we using them in the capacity that the Father would like for us to? And so um, I, I had a really rough night last night. I was pretty much up. Um, all night long <laughs> and I started to get frustrated about two o'clock and I was going to start using my words in a way that wasn't glory filled and kingdom worthy and I felt like the Lord said um, remember what you read today and may the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be pleasing to you O Lord my rock and my redeemer and I had to remind myself May the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be pleasing to you. Um, what I love about Psalms 19 is, um, one, it just extols the Lord, His glory and His greatness um, that is seen in our earth and um, in the, the natural things around us. Um, but then it talks about the commandments of the Lord being right and true, which is us meditating on his word. It's us choosing to walk in the way of the Lord, the way of the spirit and not in the way of the world. And then um, reverence of the Lord is pure, lasting forever. The law of the Lord are true. Each one is fair. They are more desirable than gold even the finest gold. They are sweeter than honey, even honey dripping from the cone. They are a warning to your servant, a great reward for those who obey them. How can I know the sins lurking in my heart? Cleanse me from these hidden sins, hidden faults is what it says. Keep your servant from deliberate sins. I was deliberately about to walk into sin by com complaining and murmuring and letting words come from my mouth that didn't please him. 
then I will be free from, of guilt and innocent of great sin. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. And so I just want to encourage you to think about that today as you're going on about your day and doing the things that you're doing. Just think about how your words um, and what, what, what you're meditating on. I mean, what you're actually feeling on your inside. You know, sometimes the words that I say, um, maybe not be exactly what's a representation <laughs> of, my, of what's actually going on inside. Asking those two things to come in alignment and agreement and be pleasing unto the Lord. So anyways, I just wanted to share a little bit about what the Lord's been speaking to me. Just encourage you that this is the day that the Lord has made and that we can rejoice and that we can be glad in it no matter what our circumstances are. Um, that he is still faithful. He is a good God. God. And even in the middle of the night when you can't sleep and you're stressed or you're worried or whatever's going on, he'll remind you with the scripture or a passage, a song, the spirit of the Lord will speak to you through a dream or a vision. These things are real and tangible for our time and they are for God's people. And if you've seen what's going on around us, you know that we, these things need to come alive within us as body, as, as the body of the Christ, as sons and daughters of God most high as inheritance. We, we are inheritance of the Lord. He is our portion, our cup, and we are his um, inheritance. So his legacy. So love you guys. Bless you, bless you, bless you. I just pray that the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and give you rest.